Hello, my name's Maria and you're watching The Richest and Simple Living. Today I'm going to show you what's in my freezer. Somebody requested why don't I do what's in your freezer vlog. So I'm going to do that today. I was going to have done it yesterday but I got a migraine yesterday and I was really busy and in the end I just didn't do it. So I thought I'll do it first thing today and then um, you can see. So I'm going to swing you around and I'm going to show you. Now I've got nothing in the big chest freezer up in the workshop. That's empty at the moment. We emptied that after Halloween. So that's just empty. But I've got two in the house and I've taken some of the contents out of the chest freezer because it's difficult to show you in the chest freezer. So I've taken the contents out and I put them on the table so I can just show you easier what's in there. So I'm going to swing you around and you can take a look. So first of all, I've got a small chest freezer, which is under the stairs. And this is one I've emptied. Um, well, what I've emptied out to show you needs a bit of defrosting by the looks on it. But what's left in here, I haven't taken these things out because it's all bags of fruit. So it's like raspberries and... Um, raspberries and blackberries. I'm not sure if there's any beetroot in there as well. There might be beetroot in there. I'm beetroot. Yeah, <laughs> Dean says I'm beetroot because he emptied it. I can't reach right to the bottom. This is as far as my hand goes. So yeah, as you can see, it's all individually bagged. Raspberries, blackberries and bags of beetroot. So that's what's left in there. Now I'm going to take you through. We'll walk through. Yes, I have got some Christmas decorations up, but I'm not going to show you them today. We'll do that when we do Vlogmas. Right, so these are just the bits that are in there. doesn't look much, but this fills it more or less to the top. So I keep bread in there. I've got three loaves in there at the minute. I'm going, we're going fuzzy. And let's see if I can unfuzz you a bit. We seem to have gone fuzzy. Is that better? So yeah, there's three loaves in there at the minute. Um, got a bag of fries, sausages, a bigger bag of sausages. These are the Tesco ones that cost £1.50 and these are like a bag of 10 from Iceland that are a pound, which are very good value, but they're not quite as long as these. A little bit shorter they are. Um, got a couple of bags of prawns. Got some carrots that were from the garden. We've got one bag left. Because like I've shown you, the fruit and the beetroot is what we're growing ourselves and we did carrots as well. Got a few um, pies left. Got some meat and potato pies. Got a couple of these Chinese style chicken and rices. Oh, I'll come down this way first. I got a lasagna. Um, some chip shop curry bakes. Some vegetable bakes, there's two of them. Got a cottage pie, um, lamb and mint pies, two of them. The bacon and chicken and bacon, sorry, pies. There's the three packs of pigs in blankets, and there's a box of fish fingers, I think, then fish fingers. And there's the big turkey that I got the other day. That was my good value one that. I should have been £30 I got it for 19 so I was really pleased with that. So it's not a lot at the moment. It doesn't hold a great deal, especially as I've got fruit in there, all the garden produce, but that will go back up in the big freezer, the fruit will, if I switch that one on. And likely I may have to because I've got more things to get yet, freezer-wise. So like I say, this lot, and with what's in there already, takes it, nearly to the top but I mean you've got the turkey and the bread so that takes up quite a bit of space so that's what goes into that one so Dean's going to put them back in for me now so it was a good opportunity actually that we could put the Christmas stuff at the bottom where the fruit and that is and then put the stuff that we're using daily at the top so it was a good uh, exercise for doing that so yeah like I say I don't really keep anything very exciting in my freezers they're not exciting at all it seems like a lot of ready-made pies and meals there, but that's what's left from the Iceland haul. If you see the last Iceland haul I had, well, the one before it as well, it's like what's left, the pies and the ready meals, or what's left over from that. So they've done pretty good. They've lasted a while. So let's have a look what's in the other one. So the other one is um, a fridge freezer. So 
that size of fridge and then it's got like a small freezer section so we'll open that and as we go in we've got like <laughs> we might get a bit steamed up here because of the cold on the camera um shelvings little racks so it's all open things on there so we've got some croquettes potato croquettes which are open there are some crispy corn nuggets which are open um these are like vegetables the steam bag ones that you can just pop into the microwave they're handy for quick meals got a couple of rolls of pastry because i make my own pastry i batch make it and then freeze it so all in all i think i've got five in here so far and i'm going to do a few more because i'll make my mince pies with them in the top shelf there is some hash brown bites and what's that one there's lots of oh, a few sausages that are left in that one right so next then we've got the shelves that come down i can hear my dog cassie plodding on behind me to have a look and near her bags of um, dog food so she probably thinks she's gonna get dog food <laughs> anyway so there we go we've got quite a few shelves in here we've got four of them pizzas in there that sean likes we've got another bag of fries there's the other um, pastries. <laughs> There's a little bag of something back behind it, the pastry. This is anything now, if it'll fall out on me. Uh, that's like a rice with peas in one of them microwavable ones. Uh, let's have a look. What's this? Oh, they're the beef burgers. And underneath that. And thing I've got to watch is I don't cover that little vent at the top or it defrosts. I did that once, went on holiday, we put a load of stuff in here, not realising about the vent, forgot about it, and come back and it was all defrosted and there's water all over the floor. Um, some Another mint pie, it looks like that's open, so there's probably one in there. It's very awkward now when I did, I'll sort it back out in a minute. Um, so there's one of them in there. There's one minced beef and onion pie in there because I had the other one last night with chips for my tea. And that's like half a bag of chips. There's an open bag of Yorkshire puddings. There's some cauliflower, vegetarian cauliflower cheeseburgers, which I'll have tonight because it's burger night tonight. They have cheeseburgers, so I'll have them. Um, there's one beef burger left in that box and there's another box of beef burgers under there I do like to try and keep them stocked up while they're so cheap because beef burgers seem so dear everywhere I'm expecting the prices to go up any time There's a bag of broccoli been opened uh, What are these? Mini hash browns They're Morrison's Now I don't know really shop at Morrison's but my eldest daughter she sometimes has home delivery from there so that'll be a bit. I got um, some baguettes, garlic baguettes, a couple of them. I got another bag open here of Yorkshire puddings, and this is what happens when you open in different bags. Put them up there, and then we can get in a bit easier. What have we got there. I've got a bag of peas that are open, bag of sweet corn that's open, some bag of 12 chicken nuggets. And we again we have another bag of peas open there. I just realised I'm looking with my eyes and not looking at it through the camera and you might not be seeing it. Might be pointing anywhere. So that's two bags of peas open. There's a bag um packet of sausage rolls that have been open there because Sean likes them. Then we've got some couple of mashed potatoes. I'll just put them behind me actually. And there's another mashed potato. So on Sunday, when we do potatoes with our dinner and mash it, what's left, we put in tubs. And then it comes in for things like cottage pies and anything like that, or even a meal in a week. Last week, I defrosted one, and we had um, sausage mash and mushy peas one night. That's some stew. When I do stew in my slow cooker, if I've got stew left, just put it in tubs. 
These are handy tubs. I mean, you used to get them from Chinese and things like that if you had takeaways, but we don't do that now. But people used to save them for me who did. But also I bought them in Poundland as well. They're great. They used to be in packs of four, I think it was, in Poundland. I've um, got a full bag of potato croquettes. All right, my, my fridge beeps to say it's open. <laughs> right, a uh, bag of corn crispy nuggets in the drawer. But not even pointing in the drawer. I've got some peas now. There's a bag of peas there. A bag of sweet corn. Another bag of potato croquettes. The reason I got so many potato croquettes is because when I go into um, Tesco, I stock up on them because I can't seem to find them in Aldi's. I don't know if they do them, but I've never seen them. So I stock up on them because I don't go in Tesco's all that often. Uh, ice cubes and I've got my freezer box there that go in my picnic basket in summer I keep them in the freezer all the time but there's ice cubes in there that I made myself oh dear I'm trapping my wire in there <laughs> right so I'm about to sort them in a minute and in the bottom one there's some corn dinosaurs which is like a chicken burger dinosaur shaped things but the corn and there's two bags of peas oh and there's something underneath I don't know what that is something open under there oh half a bag of vegetable mints vegetarian ones and these two peas they're in there for Christmas that's why I put them in the bottom forget about them because they're for Christmas so yeah that's what's in that one. It's mostly open stuff. Sometimes there's full bags if we just, you know, picked a couple up and just chuck them in this one. But mostly it's all open stuff in this freezer because then it's handy because it's next to the fridge. So, yeah, I better put them tubs back in. So that's what we've got in there. Um, like I say, it's not very exciting. Not very exciting. Like some people's freezers are full of all these meals and made themselves are already meals and that, and others have got all kinds of things in there. But no, it's not very exciting. <laughs> but we buy um, in salad and things like that because Lisa Lee eats a lot of salad and things like that. And as you've seen, we pick up pestos and fruit, and she likes to put all that kind of thing together because we put fruit into our salads as well. So that all goes into the fridge bit. I won't show you in the fridge now because I think the doors need to stay shut for a bit. I've had it on open a bit too long, but there's nothing much in there at the minute. Anyway, well, there's vegetables in there. That's about all, and cheese and some butter, and that's about it. I think there's some pesto in there, maybe um, some yogurts. <laughs> milk obviously milk um mayonnaise that kind of thing in there so yeah that's what to keep in my freezer now like i said i've got another big one up the uh top workshop that's a big chest freezer that used to get filled with party stuff and lots of things and if i was to do like a monthly shop something like that i would put a lot of it in there same when we did garden if we get a lot of garden produce it'll go in there because it leaves more room in these down here. But at the moment, I've not got to switch it on, but I've got a feeling, because I want to go and get another turkey, I've got a feeling that I will have to put it on soon. The thing is, I don't want to run it on half, but we'll see what happens. We shall see. If I can get them in this other one, I will do. So, yeah, that's that. So I got you the video in the end. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't come on yesterday, but like I say, I was busy yesterday and I'd got a migraine. I do suffer migraines from time to time. Oh, and it's terrible because it goes for your jaw, your neck, your teeth, your head. And oh, it's terrible. So I thought, oh, I'm not going to film today. Because sometimes I think if it's I'm on my phone too much or anything like that, it can, you know, affect my eyes and give me migraines. So I thought because I film on my phone, I'll, I'll keep away from gadgets. <laughs> So, well, we did Christmas decorations yesterday and in the end that got a bit much for me. So, yeah, I thought I'll bring you the video today. So, there we go. That's it. Strange to have one out on the Saturday, but I didn't want to let you down. So, that was that. Now, um, I'll be back. I won't be back Monday because I know we're busy Monday. It'll either be Tuesday or Wednesday. 
could be Wednesday when go and do a shopping haul. It depends what happens on Tuesday, but I will bring you a shopping haul then. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your weekend. And until I see you next, take care, everybody. Bye.